Welcome back to Holistic Developer. Hopefully you're having an amazing time. It's a nice fine day today and I want to talk with you about something fun and interesting and useful for all of us. Those are books. Books are your best friends, your mentors and your guide in many, many situations because through reading books you get more knowledge, experiences and so much more. And a while ago, you asked me to do a quick tour of my bookshelf, and that's what I'm going to do today. My bookshelves are categorized by specific categories. Sometimes they change, sometimes they stay. So let's start with the very first one. At the very top here, I have a bookshelf where this side, I have books related to interviews, how to prep for interviews and all that stuff, and also some innovations and stuff like that. I really like this book, Innovation Games, is by Hochman, and it's about how to uh, work efficiently, how to make most uh, productive projects, and how to have fun working and so much more. Uh, programming interviews exposed. Again, it's to prep for interviews. Grokking algorithms. I love this book and this is the book I used to prep for my Google interview. Then Elements of Programming Interviews by Aziz Lee Prakash. Then Cra Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail L Lackman on Doville. And this is 150 programming questions and solutions and that's the fifth edition i believe there's a newer edition then i have the phoenix project which is a novel about it devops helping your business win and so on and honestly i haven't read it yet but i heard really good things about it so i'll be reading that hopefully in the near future next book is are you smart enough to work at google it's an interesting read so definitely recommend it. Next, Google resume, how to prep for a career and land a job at Apple, Microsoft, Google, or any tech companies. It's written by uh, McDowell. And then I have an, a book that I really like. It's Women in Science, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World. I really recommend to look into that. Then in this section, I have books related to communications and this is kind of not in the right place, but there's a really great book about how to get from from good to great. <laughs> I think it's self-explanatory, but it's a bestseller. It was sold multiple times, so that's probably can tell why I have to, because I heard really good things about it. I bought it in one place and then somebody else gave me to read it and I have two of them. This is a really good book that I recommend to anybody. And I picked it up this from Costco when I saw it. I really like, uh, <laughs> was excited about it. It's how to say it. It's how to write emails, how to communicate, how to network and so much more. So if you are like me and English is not your first language, I definitely recommend this for business and anyways to develop your communication skills. Uh, Webster Basic um, Desaurus, Webster, again, Finnish and Webster in pocket. Moving to the next part is building Java programs. This is the book that I used when I was a TA at a high school teaching Java. And this is the book that we used for that time. Then I have Pro C Sharp 5.0 and .NET 4.5. You can tell, probably you heard that. I'm a C-sharp gal, so don't get surprised when you see that I have so many C-sharp books here. So I have a C-sharp C point five next. This is actually the book that I bought while, while, while I was prepping on to get a job, uh, a, a software engineering job here in the US when I moved here. Working with Legacy Code is a great book. I haven't read it yet, but there are really good recommendations about it. C Sharp and Easy Steps, one of my first books that I read in English, programming wise. Clean Code, yeah, I have two of those. Can you imagine that? Um, I probably will be giving away this book. It's new, I bought it, and yeah, I probably should do a giveaway. So um, wait, f at the end of this video, I will 
talk about giveaway information for this book. Clean Code is amazing. Just, I, I'm sure you t heard about it, but just look at this. I um, have so many, so many uh, bookmarks there. And it's actually signed by Uncle Bob. I was at uh, the talk of let's put the back, the book back. Yeah, it's not easy to operate books with one hand. I really like books. I learn so much from them. Next, if you're a software engineer, you've probably heard about Design Patterns, Gang of Four book. It's all about design patterns. It's a really, really good book to pick up, but at the same time, it's not the easiest. Uh, one recommendation will be to do head first design patterns, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, you might be wondering why I have here the timeless way of building and um, pattern languages. It's by Alexander and this is actually nothing programming or anything like that. It was written by an architect, but a lot of concepts here can be applied to software engineering, to patterns and all that stuff. So it definitely is not a software engineering book, but if you read it, you can, you can take a great lessons and apply it to software engineering. So I have Domain Driven Design. It's a book that I'm looking forward to read. I haven't started it yet. Here's a kitty that I have here. I didn't name it yet. I should probably give it a name. What should I name it? C Sharp? JavaScript? Or Python? I don't know. <laughs> give it and let's name it together. Put it a name in the description box. So next, what I have here, it's practically some puzzles and kind of fun books to read. This is a book that I really enjoyed reading. It's How Would You Move Mount Fuji. I read it five years ago, probably, and I really enjoyed it. It was a fun read and I should probably reread it. How Not To Be Wrong, The Power of Mathematical Thinking, amazing book. Definitely recommend it to pick it up. Then I have the puzzling, uh, here are different teasers, puzzles and all that stuff that I definitely recommend if you want to uh, stay sharp and focused. Uh, these are fun, logical games here. Followed by the second machine age. I haven't read it yet. It's on my TBR. The programmatic programmer is the 20th, 20th anniversary edition. I started to read it. I really like it. Soft Skills by John Sonmez. Yeah, John Sonmez. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, so I apologize. He actually is a well-known YouTuber, software developer person, and, and yeah, he's well-known. And the book is pretty, pretty good. It's a decent book. Uh, let's move on to the next part of the bookshelves. These are my head first. I really like head first books. So I have head first iPhone and iPad development, object oriented analysis and design, head first C sharp, PMP, software development, networking statistics, data ana analysis, analysis, design patterns. And this is not head first, but I kind of put it here with the colors, the object oriented throughout the process. I really enjoyed Head Forest books because I tend to learn best when I see the examples. Um, I see, I interpret pictures so much easier. So let's say this design pattern is so much better. When I read design patterns, this design pattern book makes more sense for me because I see the examples. It's breaking down into bite pieces and something really complex or something really kind of out of my grasp or comfort zone it becomes so much easier and so much um, more understandable versus if you take design patterns book the gang of four it's really dry um, it's really hard it's an amazing book but it's really dry for me and sometimes i need it to to have something more fun while I'm learning. So yeah, you can call me um, infantile or something like that. I have here some congratulations. I reached a few levels with doTERRA. I really like their products, but I reached the 
elite and executive level, but that's not what is this video about. Here I have a book that I got from Net Objectives. I was taking a class with them. I was taking a class with them on design patterns. So this is their book. Implementing Lean Software Development. I haven't read it yet. I bought this book when I wanted to go to her talk, Mary uh, Poppin Dickin. Oh, I cannot pronounce her name. <laughs> Sorry. Poppin Dick. Probably that's how I pronounce her name. But um, but then the talk never happened and I never <laughs> read the book. So here I have Effective Features Management. It's a book that I got from Build Conference that I was this year. ISP and uh, MVC4 and the web API. I got this book when I was taking classes on uh, web um, develop on REST web services. Yeah, so it's a really good book for REST services. Getting started with OpenShift. I haven't read it. It's from the DockerCon conference. Docker up and running. Also, it's from the DockerCon conference. Spring, a developer notebook. I don't know what what I have there, what this web service essentials, web services, understanding web services. So when I was starting to work um, with the company where I worked, I uh, was working on on something that was heavily web service, SOAP web services related. So I needed to understand those. So that's why I have so many books there. Moving forward to the next shelf, I, here I have books that, again, they are from the time that I was a TA with TEALS. So it's an AP Computer Science A, uh, how to prep for AP exams and so on. And yeah, what a little fun book I have here, Concrete Mathematics, a foundation for computer science. It's every developer's Bible, right? <laughs> formulas and all of oh, fun things about it yeah okay so what do we have here this is something that I etched I'm a crafty person sometimes and I probably can say that it has a glass etch and says Mexico some flowers I think somewhere here I put the year as well but maybe not so anyways, this is something that I etched on this bottle and it's a scent from, uh, from my first vacation in Mexico. We went with my husband there in 2013. This is something that we found on the beach. Here are some random books. Well, this is for videography, so I'm trying to get better at my videos. So hopefully <laughs> you can see um, me improving over time. So. Then business as usual, just some a pocket information about business. Software testing, this is a book that actually is one of the first books I was reading and learning from to get into tech when I got here. Applying UML and patterns, this is something that I recognize that I need to work on. I need to be better at uh, using UML, so this is why I have it here. It's not the newest edition or anything like that, but it serves its purpose. Portable MBA and project management. I really enjoy the aspect of technology, but I also I I'm, I'm interested in business and management, leadership, and all that stuff. So that's why I have that there. And the bottom part here, I have kind of soft social skills, emotional intelligence, skill skill books here. So it's Daniel Goleman, social intelligence and the seven habits of highly effective people, then how to win friends and influence people, then it, emotional intelligence, something that I, I think it's picked up from the airport to read it. So yeah, it's an airport boarding pass there. And what do I have here? The five dysfunction of a team. Oh, I remember reading this book probably, oh my God, five, six years ago. I, I remember it, me really liking it. I need to reread it. Um, and over here, it's kind of business related stuff, leader shock, fierce communication and execution. So I haven't read those yet. Okay, let's move on to what else do I have here? It's not books, but this is different conferences or things where I participated. So uh, first robotics competition, tools, I was again, 
part with the teal thing. This is build, docker con, and so many other things. Okay, moving forward here to, ah! oh my God, this fell. Okay, so, and here I have kind of an extended shelf here. Um, really good, great, good books. It's again, the other side that I'm enjoying is business development and all the, how to communicate and so on. So stories that move mountains, how to communicate effectively, how to deliver the information, how to deliver it in a story and, and make sense and, and, cap, and, uh, and yeah, it's about how to communicate effectively and how to make uh, sure that people understand what you're trying to say and all of the, of that business model value proposition design and business model you it's kind of from the same series here I have my treasure this is actually a, a plaque that I got from when I volunteered with Teals it's and Teals is a program with Microsoft so Microsoft philanthropies and I was a volunteer teacher 2015 to 2016 so those books that I mentioned Java that I used during those years that's that's what it is and just placeholders for pens. A book that I started to read recently is The Messy Middle. It's kind of, it's easy to start and easy to finish something, but sometimes it's, it's really hard to continue and a lot of people give up when they are somewhere in the middle. So how to continue and not give up, how to go through the struggles that you have when you face them in the middle. Outliers, amazing book. I really, really like it. Um, I read it, I did an audio book and I read it also, it's a good book. Elon Musk, self-explanatory, this book is actually good also. Manage your day today, build your routine, find your focus and sharpen your creativity. I really needed this book because um, when you have a lot of things going on, you need to make sure that you are running as efficiently as possible. Last, oh. oh. Yeah, <laughs> this is a book in Spanish. You probably mentioned that I speak Spanish as well. So this is a book that is really recommended. And I decided to read it in original. It's written by Don Miguel Ruiz. Oh, I cannot pronounce it correctly now. It's written by, by Don Miguel Ruiz. Los Cuadros de Acuerdos. Um, it's called it's called differently in English. I believe it's called The Four Quadrants of Life or something like that. And finally, we get to this part. And here I have the winning brain again. <laughs> um, winning the brain game. And again, I have two books of those. Little Bats, it's an amazing book for software engineering as well. Brooks, The Mythical Man Month. Thinking Like a Programmer, I need to read that. And these are two books, first coding book. And how to be a coder. These are books that I bought for my daughter. So yeah, those are basically, this is my bookshelf tour. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Wow, you stayed until the end of the video. That's amazing. There are quite a few books on this shelves that I have and I'm not stopping there. I'm planning to continue learning and growing and in order to do that I need to read more books because they are a great resource to gain more knowledge, more experience and to continue to keep your mind sharp. Therefore, this is a work in progress. I'll continue adding books as they come, as I discover them and yeah, hopefully you found it useful and interesting and Getting to the point where I mentioned that I'll be giving away a book. So if you want to get this clean code, it's a new book. It's not my book that I have, not the one that I signed by Uncle Bob. It's a new book. If you want this, let's do the following things. You have to do first, you have to leave a comment and answer to the following questions. First one is what of the books that you saw on my shelf said are present on your shelf set? What are some book recommendations that you want to give me? What should I read? And it can be technical, business, professional development, personal development, and so on. And third action that you should do is to make sure to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. 
end, I will randomly select the winner and I'll, I'll, I'll announce it in the near future. So if you want this book, it's an amazing book. It's an awesome book that any software developer should read it. Go ahead and do the following things that I mentioned. And I'm looking forward to find a good home for this book. So hopefully you found it useful and interesting and see you in the next video. Bye bye.